Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending October 8th, 2016. And first up, this is from Science Alert. Panasonic just unveiled a new invisible television. Uh, they actually showed this at one of the consumer shows. Uh, since the arrival of flat screen TVs, there's not been a whole lot to get excited about in the world of televisions. Yeah, right. I understand that. How many ways can you improve on a big slab of glass after all? Well, how about by making it almost invisible when you're not using it? And down below this is a video you can play uh, about a girl from Panasonic doing the demonstration. First, she shows the uh, transparent door to a wine cooler type of cabinet where you can uh, do a touch display out of it, too. That's the neat thing, too, besides just a display. It can be used as a touch display. And although I guess in the past it's not been that unusual the past few years to see invisible uh, TVs and panes of glass to make them actually look transparent enough and now with the uh, OLED technology where the pixels themselves light up rather than have to be uh, powered with uh, any uh, large power source it's much easier to do they're not saying how they're actually doing it right now because they don't want to let away let out any uh, trade secrets but I think this is something that Panasonic may actually have that we will actually see available for consumers in the next two to three years yeah, they said they showed it off at the CES in Las Vegas earlier in the year, but the company's engineers say the latest version of their invisible television looks even more transparent when switched off and brighter when switched on. It says, won't be uh, ready to buy for another three years or so, according to company representative. That's a lot better than a lot of the stuff uh, cutting edge that they have here, too, to where you just never really see it, or maybe you'll see a part of it used in some other product. I think this is something we're actually genuinely going to see, and in this video, if you care to watch it, um, just go down and click on the uh, video below. You'll see the transparent sliding glass in the cabinet looks just like a piece of regular old glass, so I'm quite impressed. <clears throat> Next one, this is kind of a little bit humorous. I thought at first maybe it was a joke, but this is from Board Panda. Japan, Japanese invent Pokehan device to rest your arms while playing Pokemon Go. And like the other one, you can scroll down to see a video. This is a how-to video. Uh, it takes a coat hanger and makes this, uh, well, I'll show you. i put the picture up of the device here that they're making. I guess there's a real problem with Pokemon hunters getting their arms too tired, their little wimpy, skinny arms from hunting Pokemon. A uh, story I'll tell you that uh, this kid... The other day I was sitting in my garage. Uh, I'd been working on something. I was just sitting relaxing in my garage. And uh, I live on a dead-end street or a cul-de-sac, whatever you want to call it. And this kid comes down on the skateboard and he looks over towards me. And then all of a sudden he holds his phone up and he's looking all around scanning with the phone. And I kind of figured out by then he was looking for Pokemon. And he was just like screaming and yelling, just, you know, so happy that there must have been, I don't know, dozens of uh, rare Pokemon or something like that that he was getting. So he was very happy about it. And after a bit of hooting and hollering, he went back on his skateboard and skated on down the, the road probably to get some more different Pokemon. But anyway, if you're so lazy uh, hunting Pokemon or your arms just get so tired, you can use this video and uh, make one out of, uh, uh, I guess you need a, uh, nothing but a clothes hanger and two rubber bands and you can have your Pokehan. And last up, I am going to uh, have another guest on the show. This is my friend uh, Rex, Lone Star Rider. He does uh, videos of his travels on his motorcycle, but he also does a lot of reviews and a lot of variety of reviews, too. It can be everything from uh, technological gadgets. He did a video on uh, a hard drive that you can put your SD card in and without a computer just transfer your files from the SD card to a hard drive. Um, one of his latest videos is on something called Moon Drops. It's a type of grape. It's an exotic type of super sweet grape. Uh, uh, I think the last few videos he's done have been food reviews, but this particular review, um, I'm going to use a part of his total review. I got his permission to use this, and it's about uh, camping LED lanterns, so uh, I will let him take it away. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I have a product review. It's a light. Stick around to find out more. I'm glad y'all stuck around. This little uh, blow-up light and solar I got off of Amazon, like real cheap, for about 10, 15 bucks. And it's called an Lucer, L-U-C-I or R, I can't read it right now, light. And it has a little solar panel in it. You never have to switch the batteries out. All you have to do is stick it out in the sun and charge it, and it lasts for days. 
I stuck it out in the sun for a little while when I was on my uh, 2016 summer trip. You can see the link here or down below. And uh, this thing worked great. And I'm going to use it tonight for camping out here in, at the uh, Cedar Hill Texas State Park. Um, this thing's real easy to set up. Um, when you're going to use it, you can actually use it without blowing it up. I mean, it, it does work. You connect, hit the light, and the light comes on low. And then you hit the button again, and it goes on bright. Did that go on bright? And then you hit it for the third time, and it goes on flashing mode. So, and then you click it, and it goes off. Low, high, flashing. I don't know why you want flashing on there. I guess you need, if you need help, you could help. And it would flash. Turn it off. Uh, you hit this button here, and it shows you a charge. Uh, pretty cool. And it's full charge. I haven't had it in the sun for over a month now. Uh, but to use this, it has a little handle on it. You can use it to hang it on anything. I strapped a little strap across this and put it on the back of the motorcycle so it would charge when I was on my trip. Well, it hasn't been on the trip at all, so you pull this out here, and then you uh, blow it up. And then you plug it up in there. It's a little pillow light. That's what I call it. So anyway, you turn on the uh, the light, and then you hang it up, and you got plenty of light, especially in the tent. I think this is a great tent light. I'm gonna put it on high, and I'm gonna hang it up, and I'm gonna use this for my cooking that I'm getting ready to do. So real easy to do like that. Thanks, Rex, and as usual, all the links to everything, including Rex's channel and this particular video, will be in the description box down below, and check out his channel. There's just so much of a variety of things. I think this is one of those channels to where, even if you don't like part of one thing that he's talking about, you're going to like something else because of um, just the sheer variety on his channel. Really good channel. Um, Lone Star Rider and uh, link down below. So anyway, that's about it for this week. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.